Now, France has announced the death of uh, Hubert Germain, the last surviving recipient of the country's rarest bravery award from the Second World War, the Order of Liberation. It was bestowed on just over a thousand heroes of the French resistance. The BBC's Tim Allman looks back at his life. As Allied troops sweep onwards towards Paris, a three-word announcement from the capital brings the great news, Paris is liberated. 1944, and after four long years, Paris is free once again. General de Gaulle leading the free French and Allied troops in retaking the city. But for most of the war, it was the men and women of the resistance who defied Nazi occupation. Among their number, Hubert Germain, seen here with President Macron last year. A resistance fighter, a war hero, and a man who, when preparing to take exams to enter the French military, decided he would never follow German orders. I thought about it for five minutes and said to myself, what are you doing here? So I got up and handed back a blank piece of paper. I said, I'm not interested, I'm off to war. As a soldier of the Free French Forces, he took part in the Battle of El Alamein and went on to help liberate the port of Toulon and the city of Lyon. After the war, he entered politics, becoming a government minister in the 1970s. Hubert Germain represented what President Macron called the flame of the resistance, a flame that will never be extinguished. He will be buried in the last empty vault at the National Memorial to French fighters of the Second World War.